Hi everybody, this is City Readings and hi Pisces. Let's see what messages will show up for you guys. How are you guys doing? Um, what do we have for Pisces, please? What do we have for Pisces? Show me Pisces, please. Okay, there could be changes happening in your home, okay? There could also be some sort of a news coming towards you in regards to your home. Um, I do see you very focused on home, Pisces. And another thing I see here is that you're having a hard time letting go of something. And it's almost like causing you to have a closed heart space. Okay. We will see. Okay. And I will be reading for you what the card is saying towards the end of the reading as well, more in depth. And I will also be giving you your guided message. Beautiful uncaging. For a lot of you, I'm getting that there's something on the horizon for you. There's something that is being brought into fruition. Okay. Hmm. And... The uncharted sea. A deep breath. Number 10, number 14, number 4 and 6 could be significant. Pisces, you're headed towards a direction for sure. Um, but that is almost also asking for you to open up yourself. A merry motive. When I picked up this card, I heard it's not a coincidence. So for a lot of you, I feel like things are headed towards change. Okay. But there's, uh, we also have it is what it is. But there's so much Pisces that I feel like you don't see coming. And I'm also kind of getting that the past few um, weeks for you have been a little bit tough in terms of life in terms of like you're trying to navigate your way through something. Okay. You're trying to you know move into a certain direction here that is seeming a little bit hard okay or was a little bit hard but we will see for some of you there could be um there could be traveling involved okay Show me Pisces, please. Show me Pisces. Your dreams need a practical plan and the answers you need are coming. There's something here that I see being clarified. And there's also an energy of a new beginning, okay? So... Okay, a couple of things are coming up here. There's something here, Pisces, that's for sure coming to an end. There may also be a Gemini, Taurus, Leo, or a Libra who may come towards you. Uh, there's communication coming through from somebody, okay? Things may even be clarified with this person. There's something that's on your mind in regards to what you want to achieve, but you, you do need to stick to your plan. Like I said before, you're trying to navigate through something, Pisces. And there's a new cycle beginning for you, but at times I feel like you're doubting yourself with the confidence is the key to success. There's a need for you to stand up for yourself, Pisces, and a new romantic cycle begins. There is for sure somebody coming towards you. It could very well be a new person, okay? Now we will have a look at what is showing up for you, Pisces. There may even be somebody who's like um, keeping tabs on you or who is um, who's watching you. <laughs> okay. Um, let me actually get this off of here. Okay. Show me what's there for Pisces. Show me Piscean energy. What messages Pisces needs to hear right now? What messages Pisces needs to hear right now?
Now shuffle. I see you taking back control. That is for sure. Mm. <laughs> what is going on with you, Pisces? You need to tell me. What is going on with you? There is something in love here. Uh, is that bothering you? Is that on your mind? Is that confusing you? Because there is something here of that sort happening. Um, a lot of you are definitely keeping your long-term stability in mind, which I don't see any problems with it. Mm. I see you focused on yourself, your money, your goals, and trying to just ignore the crap that you know people bring towards you. Whoever you're dealing with, their energy is the six of cups with the star. Okay, this person is seeming very hopeful about you and the situation. They're maybe even wanting to give in. With the chariot, this person's also very drawn towards you. Could be a Cancer or an Aquarius. Um, your overall energy is the Emperor. So again, you know, um, taking back control. And there could also be something about business going on for you or it's it's almost like an energy of, okay, I'm going to own what I got to own, okay? Show me the challenge for Pisces and their advice, please. Yeah, you're having a hard time taking action towards something, okay? Or something is just seeming all over the place for you, Pisces. And it's not just seeming all over the place once or twice. It's seeming really all over the place. Uh, ten of swords to the... Okay, a lot of you need to stop doing everything all at once, Pisces, okay? A lot of you are getting entangled in something because you're doing a lot at once. Okay, now what I see here from the spread is that there is something on your mind that you're trying to decide about. For a lot of you, perhaps this is like, okay, I need to maintain a certain level of balance between my work and my love situation, between my leisure time and my work. Okay, there's something about work that you're having a hard time, um, you know, you, you need to have a routine when it comes to your work, okay? Uh, there also needs to be some changes that you need to make in your routine because I feel like some of you are trying to get back on track with something. Uh, there is stress about something, Pisces. Some of you are also having a hard time silencing your mind or there's just too much going on to the point that I feel like you're overthinking. And that overthinking is directly related to, okay, I'm, I'm waking up and I have a to-do list. And I have 30 things in my to-do list and I just want to get done with all of it. So that is not really possible, okay? A lot of you are being hard on yourself when it comes to that. And there's a sense of confusion. For some of you, there could also be choices that you need to make, okay? And that is confusing you. Like I said, there's something here you're trying to keep, you know, you're trying to keep it balanced. You're trying to keep it somewhat together. Okay, all right. Now, I do feel like a lot of you pri started to prioritize your money, your goals, um, even in the past that I do see here. Uh, moving towards the future, there could be somebody playing games, but I kind of feel like you've shielded and protected yourself from this. And because you have Leo energy here as well, there could be something new that you're starting. But with the Five of Swords, it's like you, you may have people around you who are like it's looking like a hindrance, okay? With the Eight of Pentacles here, you know, I still see you working on yourself and your goals without being bothered by it. Um, however, the, what, the problem here is mainly the pace at which you're trying to do things. You're trying to almost like put pressure on yourself um, about something, but it's, it's on, only like draining you. I also feel like some of you are sick of social media or spending too much time on your phone maybe, I don't know. You're trying to cut it out. Some of you could also be trying to eat healthier or trying to change something about, you know, the. I feel like some of you are really trying to cut down on your internet timing. I, I'm, I'm getting that. Maybe not. I don't know. Or you could be meditating or trying to like calm yourself down. Uh, if not, then maybe that is a message from spirit to do so. Okay, whoever you're dealing with, Pisces, Six of Cups, Chariot and the Star. This person, like I said, is very hopeful about connecting with you. And this person feels very drawn to you. Like when they think about you. 
like they just feel very drawn to you okay so let's see show me the two of Pentacles Too many cards. Some of you may have also lately been feeling like your attention has been all over, all over the place. Okay. Show me the two of pentacles for Pisces. Show me the two of pentacles for Pisces. Hermit and the Ace of Wands. There's a lot of healing here, Pisces, that I see for you. You're, you're thinking things through, okay? And a lot of you are trying to also question what are things that you're genuinely passionate about because it's like you're tired of going through something you know when we're doing something and we're doing it halfway through a lot of you are just tired of that okay it's almost like an energy of of i'm also trying to find my purpose you know so what i see here for you is that you're trying to find your purpose and you're trying to kind of like approach a situation with the mindset of um, hmm. I need to work things out almost something like that okay what's the knight of cups tired of something another thing i'm kind of getting here is that you're tired of somebody playing games and you're tired of it's almost like you're tired of somebody's false promises or like their words you don't want no empty promises right you're tired of looking forward to something and always getting the bare minimum from a person I feel like sometimes Pisces you also feel enraged to say something or to get something off of your chest but you're also trying to perhaps stop yourself from doing so what's the seven of cups ace of pentacles new opportunities new beginnings I feel like a lot of you are trying to expand and you're trying to like work things through in a way that you are not staying stagnant in your life okay especially in in, in your work I feel like you're trying to make things better for yourself. See, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, the same Eight of Pentacles. You're working on something, Pisces. You're working towards something. Tell me about their money situation. What is that Eight of Pentacles? What is that Eight of Pentacles? Page of Cups. There could be a new job or a new venture or a new idea that I see you exploring, especially when it comes to money. Um, what's the nine of swords oh my god ah, Pisces 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 you need to tell me what's up with you honey mm -mm. Pisces you need to tell me you need to tell me 
What are you tired of? You're absolutely tired of something. You're absolutely drained when it comes to something. It's like, especially if it's about a person, you're tired of them. Some of you have so much stress and burden, okay, about something on your head that it's, it's hard for you to maybe even sleep. Oh my God. It's like you keep, like you keep deciding that I'm going to move on from this, but you keep thinking about it, Pisces. What is the advice for Pisces in regards to this situation that they're stressed out about? Remember to give this video a like, you guys, and also check out the reading about your person. Linked in the description box if you're interested. <clears throat> I also have a Pisces soulmate reading that will also be linked in the description. Okay. So tell me, what is the advice for Pisces in regards to the situation that's stressing them out? Okay, 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 wait a sec, wait a sec. Over here, the Knight of Swords is your challenge. Over here, it's your advice. I feel like you're having a hard time taking action towards something or pursuing something, okay? And it's like you are at times standing in your own way, if I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of you are also in this energy of deep, deep dissatisfaction. Like you're not very happy in something and you're trying to expand and, you know... It's like you don't want that stagnant life no more, which is absolutely great. But you also need to get back in touch with your creative side, Pisces. Tell me about their outcome. Some of you also need to save money, okay? And you need to get your priorities correct. Um... One thing I'm going to tell you, Pisces, is that there could be options in love that tend to confuse you or there could be choices otherwise. But the more choices you have, the more you have to choose from, the more you're going to get confused, actually. But if you go by your intuition, you do have the answer. It's almost like your energy is too scattered. I also see a lot of focus on communication for you. Um, maybe some sort of a news is going to come through. Maybe a friend is going to text you, communicate with you. It's like, hey, Pisces, I really want to communicate. I really want to talk. Mm -hmm. What is the emperor? What is the Emperor? King of Wands. See? So your whole energy here, uh, you know, your whole motive here seems to be that you want to walk away from something and you want to like boldly pursue something. You're so tired. Sometimes I feel like we also, when we listen to everybody's opinion on things, we just get too tired, okay? And then it comes to a point where we're like, we need to listen to ourselves. And that is where I see you taking your power back. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. What is something Pisces needs to end? What is something Pisces needs to end? <laughs> oh, Pisces, you keep getting the cards in doubles, like the Emperor, Emperor, Nine of Swords, Nine of Swords, Nine of Swords, Nine of Swords. What is this? Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups. Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. So many doubles in this reading. I feel like Pisces, you know, you don't always have to be the one. Like, I feel like you're somebody who at times just get tired. You, you get tired of taking care of people and everybody around you because it's like a lot of times you also need that care, okay? But you don't have to be the bigger person here, Pisces. You need some time for yourself, I think. That is where all that mental anguish is coming from. Uh, tell me about their person, please. Yeah, there is going to be communication with this person. But one thing I see here is that they play mind games and they confuse you even further. So that is where the choices, you know, that choice energy also comes in that you need to choose which way to go. Do you want to deal with this or do you want to let it go? Because there is communication coming through, most probably. 
I am gonna read for you your guided messages and after this I'm gonna also give you your another guided message so <laughs> stick around until the end okay uh, let's read for you beautiful uncaging the prison of guilt a need for self inventory vigorous honesty and accountability and making amends you need to be really really honest with yourself about something Pisces Take a moment now to consider when you have harmed others or yourself. I feel like it's more about you than anybody else, okay? This knowledge will free you from the story you tell, you tell about it so you're able to connect with truthful remorse. Now is a time for rigorous honesty as you take a self-inventory with a neutral state of mind. A good question to ask yourself now is why the guilt is there. You might be taking on a burden that is not even yours to carry. Pay attention, take action, and uncage yourself from the prison of your own thinking. Okay, um, a merry motive. Let's see what that is. Knowing your own motives, understanding what drives you to meet your goals, the momentum your attention creates, the wisdom behind your intentions. You must choose the, to be in the flow of the experience. Surrender your expectations to a higher part rather than be guided by your limited self. Trust that the universe will provide the outcome that is a perfect match for your intention and it always does. So if you're unsure about your motives, the result will be just as unclear. Dig deep to understand your why. Hmm interesting uh, there could be some traveling involved some of you want to go to a serene place and maybe you know you're thinking about going on a vacation the uncharted sea stepping into the unknown without a map moving beyond your comfort zone choosing to do things differently trusting in the ebb and flow of life being in the dark and letting curiosity lead the faith that will, all will be well some of you also need to step outside your comfort zone, Pisces. This is the day to dive into a novel experience and fully immerse yourself in the new. You don't know what the sea of possibility has in store for you, so stay curious. Refrain from judgment or the need to label. Give yourself the time and freedom to be curious without the limitations and boundaries projected by your memories or expectations. You are in an amazing place right now and you will never be the same for surveying these waters. Very cool. Um, okay, give me... Okay, wait, wait a sec, wait a sec. Okay. Show me what is there for Pisces in love. Remember to give this video a like, Pisces, if it helps you. Um, and check out the extended, of course, if you're interested. Okay. Heartbroken. See? Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost. You're feeling heartbroken over something, Pisces. Um, boat receiving what you need some sort of a news might also be coming through but it's like an energy of your manifestations um i love you oh my god okay there's somebody who's in love with you that's what they want to say oh my god the runner this is somebody who runs away mm -mm. do you even want to be with them pisces that is the real question do you even want to be with them with a person like this I don't know perseverance I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to and friendship some of you might also find support from a friend but I feel like a lot of you like you feel like people don't understand you so I feel like with the friendship energy you may need to be more like 
I don't know, like talk to people, get get out there, but more so I feel like you need to befriend yourself as well. That is the vibe that I'm picking from this. Anyway, that's about it, Pisces. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and check out the extended link below if you're interested to know more about your person and bonus messages from Spirit. Take care and bye-bye.